Hello, Gemini's. Gemini's sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I hope that you're doing well. Uh, please note, this is a general reading, so the messages will not resonate with everyone. Just take what does and leave the rest. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't, okay? Because I don't want you getting stressed or worried or thinking, oh, that's not my situation. You're right. It's not your situation, and you don't need to worry about it. But hopefully it will resonate for you so that it can give you some clarity. And if not, please go ahead and book online. You can find the link to my website in the description box below, as well as a donations link. And thank you all to everyone who have generously donated. You're incredible. Okay, let's get into this. Gemini. To all of my subscribers, thank you, Gemini Clan. You're amazing. And if you are new here, please go ahead, hit subscribe, and stay with us. Great, great bunch of people. Okay, what do we got? Gemini, please. Messages for Gemini. Messages for our twins. Surrender stubbornness. Ooh, if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. This could very well be the individual that you're dealing with, or this could be for you. Surrender your desire to control people. Being over-controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Okay? Very well could be the person you're dealing with. Apply the energies as you will. And we'll keep going. Gemini, please, spirit. Okay, how, do, how, does, how does the person that Gemini is thinking of view them? How are they viewing Gemini right now, please, spirit? Ooh. There's, there's a lot of energy flowing because some of these cards want to flip, but they haven't yet. But there was a few that were trying to jump out there. How do they view Gemini? Controlling. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Um, the first card of the deed is the Four of Pentacles. So maybe they feel as though you're uh, withholding and possibly you're doing that because you may be upset with them, so you're not speaking to them. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, because you have that Queen of Cups there, and it's making them very emotional. Uh, perhaps you're being stubborn right now because you don't want to talk to them because you're upset and you want to win whatever the argument was about or whatever the fallout was or whatever the situation is because there's a lack of balance going on and meanwhile somebody is trying to ride off and they want to ride off on their horse and feel proud of themselves okay and that could be causing them to think that you know maybe you're controlling them with your stubbornness don't shoot the messenger I'm just reading the cards as they come out <laughs> please. <laughs> and maybe you've got a, a good reason to do so, right? So now we are going to see what their intentions are. What are their intentions? Got the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and Three of Swords. Well, their intentions towards you, Gemini, unfortunately, is that if things don't continue to move along forward and if it continues that possibly you're just staying stuck or you're withholding to prove that you're right or, or so that you can win a situation they will walk away they're at the point now where they're feeling very upset with the situation and they don't feel that you're giving enough unfortunately they don't feel that you're opening it up, up enough to them, especially on an emotional level. Some could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, uh, but this is the slowest moving night in the deck. This is somebody who just kind of stays still and really makes sure that they know where they're going. So either they feel as though you're being stubborn, because yes, this Knight of Pentacles can be very stubborn, and this is being read from their point of view, but again, switch the energies. Maybe you feel that they're being stubborn. But they're getting to a point where they are feeling as though they want something more. They want something more fulfilling. Something in which 
will bring them happiness because they're not happy, unfortunately, right now. Hmm. How do they feel about Gemini, please, Spirit? How do they feel about the Geminis? How do they feel about Geminis? How does Gemini's person feel about them? Tired? They, they, they feel as though they've been hurt a lot by this situation, perhaps. Perhaps they see you as going out socializing a lot and spending a lot of time with friends or putting energy into a lot of other people besides them and maybe partying a lot or being incredibly social, but yet you're not giving them that time and attention and they feel wounded because of it. They feel as though there's some guard that's up and they're not being considered and their happiness isn't being considered, nor are their feelings with that card up there and this is really starting to weigh on them to the point where maybe they're drinking or maybe they see that you are indulging too much in vices um, this could be for the party types the party goers they feel a bit guarded as well I feel like I'm getting trust they're they're having a few trust issues about whether things are being honestly talked about or honestly presented I think that whomever unfortunately is dealing with this situation whoever you're dealing with they they're tired they they are this close unfortunately to giving up what is the outcome going to be please for Gemini's spirit what's the outcome going to be some could be dealing with a Sagittarius Okay. Okay, some could be dealing with a Leo. But what I see here, or an Aquarius for that matter too. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. But what I see is for an outcome, they want to heal the situation, but they don't feel as though they're going to be investing much anymore into this. They're going to start pulling back their resources because they are not getting the balance that they need in this connection and they're finding their inner strength and their confidence now with the strength card to move on and they unfortunately it looks as though they're giving up hope on this situation oh gemini's and maybe this is you like i said maybe it's you who feels this way what is the four pentacles please spirit we're going to just clarify these cards to make sure that it's all coming out right the hangman yeah not doing anything being pulled back that's what they see you as doing is is just not engaging enough not putting in enough effort queen of cups please there we go eight of wands it's making them emotional and maybe they feel like they've gone through this so many times or that they've communicated this so many times that nothing is happening and it could get heated very quickly because emotions could get very out of control what is the six of wands and the tower yeah that's it's starting to cause a tower moment in terms of this breakdown and i think Unfortunately for some of you who may be in a relationship, this could be heading towards a divorce or a breakup because somebody here is only caring about themselves, unfortunately, and their feelings and their wants and their needs. Again, how for their intentions with that Knight of Pentacles. So their intentions are to pull back. Yep, look at that Knight of Pentacles again. They're not going to move. They're not going to move anymore because they feel as though you're not moving. Eight of Cups. Temperance. Yeah, they want their peace, so they're going to walk towards finding it. They're going to leave the situation to find it because of this Three of Swords heartbreak. And that is about not enough effort or work being put in, as we were talking about before. This Nine of Wands, in terms of how they feel, please. Clarification for the Nine of Wands, please, Spirit. Yep, so they're tired and they exa they're exhausted and there's that Eight of Cups. They want to find something more meaningful, something deeper. 
maybe even if they're looking for a spiritual connection or more of an emotional connection, maybe all of the above, but they don't feel that they're getting that here. And then the three of cups, yeah, they're, they're feeling as though they want to be stable and they actually, they want to be abundant and they want to feel secure in their relationship and they want to feel as though they're not always having to wonder where this is going or is this going to work out or, you know, they don't want to be on eggshells and King of Pentacles, that's what they're heading for because that's what they want. Nine of Cups, perhaps even you, you may have a third party involved in this situation as well and that could very well, because there's so much earth here, but then you also have water. So maybe you're on the fence and you're trying to decide what you want to do. But what is that Nine of Cups, please, Spirit, for Gemini? Yeah. So how they feel, they don't, they don't want to believe in this offer anymore. They don't feel that this is their dream come true anymore. I think that they did at one point, but... Now, especially after they are indulging so much and taking this time to sit back, they feel that you're just content to not have them around. They're feeling very unloved at the moment. Temperance, please, Spirit. Clarify temperance. What do we got for temperance? Yeah, they want happiness. As an outcome, that's what they want. They really want to move away because they're starting to get a new perspective on the fact that nothing is moving along or nothing feels secure they know that there's more to life and more to relationships than what they feel that they're getting in this and so they want to go find the sunshine and they want to heal continuing on for this outcome clarification clarification for seven of pentacles yeah Seven of Pentacles in reverse, we have that Three of Swords. So, unfortunately, someone may be communicating already with somebody else be, that they want to heal and that they want to be stable. And maybe, actually, it, it, this might be a good heads up for you that if you do care about this person, that they are thinking of possibly leaving. Or I shouldn't say possibly, that's where this is headed. And I hate to say it, but... There might be heartbreak for you as well. So this isn't a bad thing. This isn't a bad thing. If anything, it's giving you a heads up. What is the strength card, please? Clarify the strength card. The moon. Yeah, that's right. Insecurities, right? But they're, they're getting over that because they're starting to get past any illusions or any fears or any self-doubt because they see that this isn't based on a firm foundation there's not enough effort being put in details aren't being paid attention to it doesn't feel as though this is going anywhere it, it feels like a false start to them and they're they're confused but they're gaining the strength over it and then of course there's that star in reverse which is i don't think that they want to heal this connection and you know what that's okay. Maybe you don't want to heal the connection either. And that's why there's the stubbornness. And, you know, whoever it is, whether it's you or them, there's just some unhealthy traits here in terms of relating that need to be addressed, right? If, if this is to work out, then um, each person is going to have to look at how they're trying to control the other one. And it seems like the control dynamic is by being stubborn, is by digging their feet in the ground, not moving, not budging, and withholding affection or care to try and get the reaction from the other person. Do you see what I'm saying? And then that just perpetuates a lack of trust and a lack of secure foundations because nobody feels safe. Where is this going, please, Spirit? One last card for the Romance Angels for possible outcome. Romantic feelings. Yeah, do you see what I'm saying? Because now it's getting to the point, and the romantic feelings came up in reverse. It's getting to the point where they they don't even feel that anymore with that Nine of Wands energy and that Eight of Cups. 
they are starting to fall out of, I guess you could say, enamor with this situation. They don't feel as though the situation is worth it to them anymore. So if you do care about them, it might be good to have a discussion with them or go ahead and send them this video and just say, look, you know, like, especially if they're being like this with you, if they're being stubborn and controlling, you might need to tell them, hey, look, you know what? I'm not happy with the way that things are going right now. Can we sit down and have a talk about this? And then you could say, I feel controlled when you withdraw your affection or I, I feel like you're trying to get me to do exactly what you want, but you're not taking into consideration how it's making me feel or how you know, your actions affect me in terms of the consequences. And there are consequences, right? And the consequences is that somebody is going to leave. Oh dear, Gemini. All I know is that I love you to bits. And whatever it is, it can always be worked out if you want it to. And even if you've put in all of the time and effort, say if you are the one that did do everything you could, then you know what? You can be victorious in knowing that that's exactly what happened here, right? Six of Wands. And it's funny too, because I did a reading for you just the other day, and I swear it was pretty much these same cards. So maybe the energy just hasn't lifted yet from whoever it is that you're dealing with. But all I know is everything sorts itself out eventually. All right. Sending you so much love, and I'll see you guys again soon. Don't forget to hit like as it helps to support the channel. Thanks, you guys. See you soon. Bye.